and gentlemen, boys and girls, episode 202 Yo. of the JB and Benny Blue Review podcast. And it's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, get up, get up, the first of the month. Get up, get up. Yeah, Benny, I just figured out, and my, my man, shout out to Merck, you know what I'm saying, that boy Merck. Merck. Uh, I'm on Twitter, and he said something about the verses. Man, they still have verses, Tim man. What up, Tim? They still have verses, man. That shit old. Man, that shit played, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I found out it was it's it's bone versus three strips. Bone ain't got like three hits. Come on, man. I mean, besides their albums, like you know, if you go go into their albums, like mm-hmm. I don't know if people are ready for that shit. But mm-hmm. other than like hits, hits, mm, yeah, three six got them on that all day every day. So yeah, you know, mafia, you, mafia, yeah, yeah. that's right. We're back, baby. Episode mm-hmm. 202 of the mm-hmm. JB and Benny Blue Review. Make sure to follow us at JB and Benny Blue for all your social media needs in case you missed the live stream, which is at the new time, 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern. Tap in on podcast for man. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, like, share, subscribe. You know, do the goddamn thing. Hey, don't forget uh, 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. Okay, Mountain Standard zone, for I, all of our desert the, folks. The time zone that I live in, right? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Our good old fine folks in New Mexico, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think Nevada too. I think in Vegas as well. Correct. You switched to mountain time. Good old daylight savings time. Coming up, oh, state of the bird gang with the Cardinals, the third quarter of the season, baby, week 13 and on yep. and on. Of course, got to talk about the game this past Saturday, the college football playoff, all the coaching carousel, week 12 recap, week 13, Savage Six. We got a full show today, God damn it. And of course, go. Tap in with our friends, CasualSports.com, live streaming out of the desert in Phoenix and the Believe Podcast Network. Dr. Bridges, speaking of the, the, the changing times, for the reviewers who did not see it last night on Boyning Bridges, your live streaming, what mm-hmm. did they miss? What did you What did you talk about with our guy, Johnny Yu, and the whole family, AAT? Over Shout there. out to the All About the Birds Network, City of Philly, what up? Man, we just talked about the happenings, man. We talked a little bit about college football, uh, like, you know, kind of some of the things we're going to touch on tonight. Uh, you know, I was actually watching the early parts of my Phoenix Suns, you know, saying taking on the Golden State Warriors, uh, the That's two best right. teams in the NBA, all right? Mm-hmm. Not the two mm-hmm. best teams in the West, two best teams in the NBA going head to head, two best records. Uh, now we're tie record wise, and of course, we got the tie record because we whooped that ass last night. Pow, 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 pow. Yes, sir. But uh, I mean, other than that, man, that's you know, pretty much chopped it up, you know, what I'm saying just a normal show. We didn't have no guests mm-hmm. last night, so it went pretty smooth. Uh, mm-hmm. yo, yo, what up? Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 NFL, yeah. NFL, NFL is is kind of wild this year too. Yo, it's wild as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's wild as hell. And so, and my, Tim, like always, a lot of my predictions at the beginning of the season, like New England, are are, are coming true. Mm-hmm. All right, so, you know we're gonna talk about that too. Right? And just like the great Dr. T, who will be in the building? That's right, in the building for the Big Ten Championship this Saturday. He's going to be there in the big nice. old oil drum in Indy. Drop a comment or question at any point during the live stream, and we will get to that. Uh, so, look, we got we got a lot to cover, so we are not going to hold it back any longer. We have to get into some third quarter state of the Burr gang right now with our guy in yours from casualsports.com, K-S-R-N-A-Z, the one and only special Burr gang correspondent, Sean McConnell's in the building. Sean, how are you doing, what? sir? How was your bird gang bye week and Thanksgiving, sir? First and foremost. First and foremost, the Thanksgiving was amazing. Uh, had a bunch of people over. We had a giant turkey. This year, the dog didn't eat the turkey, Christmas oh. story style, because that happened last year. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm just living nice. You know, both my teams, number one in the league. I Crushing it. Saying. Best in the NBA, best in the NFL. What is, man, what is this? The desert's killing the stars it. both wear number one. What's that hey, about? Hey, hashtag, hashtag is the valley hot. <laughs> the valley is hot, Sean. It was 83 today. It is kind of hot. Yeah, I mean, man, man. Look, literally yeah. and figuratively, the valley is hot, man. We out here doing the damn thing. Arizona Cardinals, Phoenix Suns. You know what I'm saying? I saw the Spider-Man meme earlier. You know what I'm saying? We pointed at each other. You number one. Now you number one. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw that. That shit was dope. It is what it is, fam. Yep. All right, so you know when you when you see Sean's pretty face, you know that means we're talking Burr Gang. So we're gonna get into it right now, Mr. McConnell. Yeah. Uh, so look, as you saw, and as uh, JB and I have remarked both on this fine program and off, um, Burr Gang has been killing it, um, despite the fact that they've had some key playmakers not available. And uh, our guy, front of the show, future guest of the show, Colt McCoy, has been mm-hmm. handling his business, and they've been getting dubs uh, before the the bye week, but. You're hearing the rumblings. 
Kyler, oh, he's practicing again. DeAndre, he's practicing again. Are they going to play? So, Sean, in your mind, from what you've seen and what you've heard, do you believe that Kyler and DeAndre are going to remain healthy for the playoff push? Talk to the people. What do, what do you think? 100%. I think with what they had going, a month was, you know, in the NFL, uh, availability is durability. And a month off was, I think, a little bit, we were starting to itch, really. It may be a little much, but it was perfect. I think they took all that. I don't think they were doing much. I don't think they were playing hoops. I don't think they were, I think they were just chilling, <laughs> resting. I think they're going to be fine. I think this Bears game is going to be kind of like a get back into sync yes. game for them. Chicago, they're not yes. going to come out firing, but they're going to come back. I think they're going to play. They're going to be fine. Uh, luckily, the Bears are a hot mess right now, so that helps oh, us. Be hot. And uh, yeah, I mean, shout out to McCoy for for doing a, a job well done considering the following. Because you said playmakers, th- those are the playmakers, the two the. playmakers, the guys. Those are the when you list them off in order, it goes that guy and that guy, just like that. One so, A, one B, right? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> the, the kind of a package deal, and they went out as a package for a month. That's kind of hard, but the bye week was baked into that. So yeah, I'll take that all day long. Okay, Doctor Bruce, what do you think? It's about, it's about, yeah, they're going to stay healthy, of course. But it's about shout out to Cole McCoy and shout out to the coaches for preparation, right? Yes. Uh, the only game that we clearly weren't prepared for was our game against Carolina, uh, and that's cool because you have that what the fuck game every year. Every team has that man. What the hell mm-hmm. y'all doing? That was that game, <laughs> and luckily for us, it happened with so many people hurt. So you know, it's no excuses. But we rather have a what the fuck game when we're not at full strength, right? Yep. That that's just what it amounts to, right? And then, then we know we put a good woman on the 49ers, who I am glad to see is having success because all it does is make the NFC West look that much better and make us look that much stronger, right? And then of course the Seahawks is just fucking trash, right? I mean, but you know, we 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 got their best, and you know, we still got a hold to them. So uh yeah, we're gonna get back in, in the swing. Uh to be completely honest, I don't know if Kyle is gonna play this week, and that's just real from what I'm hearing out out, out, out of the building. Uh, he's practicing, Correct. he's moving around, but I don't think he's going to play, to be honest. Uh, yep. I think we're going to go one more week with Colt McCoy. Uh, Hop might show his face a little bit, but I think little man, they're going to hold him out one more week and, uh, and and let him completely heal up and let him get back to straight, straight balling status to where he ain't got to worry about that thing, being tender or nothing like that. I've had a high mm-hmm. frame before and there ain't nothing to fucking play with. And with him and his mobility and his durability, uh, durability we want to be durable, but that's his right foot. Right, so as a quarterback, right hand quarterback, he drops back. His right leg is the one his anchor leg. That's what he stops on when he throws the ball. He pushes off that leg. Like it's it's more than just a fucking sprained ankle. It's fucking with his mechanics of throwing. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? He does like to escape to his right. So when he escapes to his right, he's pushing, pushing, pushing forward with his back foot. I mean, it's just a lot of things that people don't think about. So if you play, it's cool, right? But like Hassan said, it's gonna be a get back and sync game. But if you don't play, Cool too. That way he'll have a full week of practice going into the next game, right? So you know, yeah, it is what it is. yeah, exactly. And if you look at the uh, report today, him and DeAndre are both limited in practice. And you know, the Bears are a hot mess, like Sean said. So maybe they would be better served to hold them out one more week and get ready for the Rams at home. Now, Doctor Bridges, you you talked about focus, and Lord knows the reviewers out there remember that you've <clears> quite <throat> you've cut quite a promo on old Scottsdale cliff from time to time. <laughs> now we've seen the, uh, the, uh, the rumors and the rumblings these last few days of what happens with the coaching. And, uh, they're starting to throw his name in with Rumor, Oklahoma. Rum, so rumors, Dr. Bridges. rumors are just that Benny rumors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but do you believe he'll maintain his focus on the bird game? Cause you know, he, cliff is a wandering eye in more ways than one. He, 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 <laughs> he, uh, oh, he, he literally, put it out there and said that he has no no focus on that right now is that that's nothing that's that's even on his radar right uh now check this out the man worked his ass out to get to the nfl what the fuck do you want to go to college for right that that's my mindset right if i work my ass off and i'm having success so it ain't like when Pete carroll first came to the nfl years ago and he stunk you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. then he went back to college and he came back and then he started having success the man has had success. He's progressed through year through the three years, his third year coaching, right in the NFL. So he's progressed, right? I don't think there's nothing, you know. what I'm saying, and he's getting paid a heap and the hell of a lot of money, you know. what I'm saying to live in Scottsdale, Arizona, where the bitches look way better than they do in Oklahoma, and he's a single man. So you know, what I'm saying like that's just a perk, you know. what I'm saying, and I'm mm-hmm. calling you bitches because I don't know your name individually. So uh, you know, what I'm saying it's just that's just a perk 
And you're in the NFL, right? You're an NFL coach, you're a head coach, and having success. And you got people that are young on your squad, and you got a young squad, and they can rumble all they want. Because look at this, though. There was no rumbling about Lincoln Riley going to USC. He just went, right? There was no rumbling about Brian Kelly going to LSU. He just went. So yeah. rumbling is just that. That's the that's the heads. That's the talking heads. Well, Cliff Kingsbury, his offense. Man, Cliff Kingsbury got an offense right here in Arizona. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Stupidity, man. But, you know, talking heads going to be talking heads, bro. Mm -hmm. Sean, what do you think? Yeah, I thought if anything, if there was any truth to this story at all or any type of merit, it's more along the lines of uh, a contract renegotiation of, hey, this guy wants me over here. Right. You know, mm -hmm. give me a little bit more scratch and we'll be leverage. fine. Yeah, leverage, right? That's all, leverage. that's all I thought was is a leverage play. Isaiah Simmons alluded to the same thing. It's just kind of like a he said he's here with us for the long haul. So I'm not looking further past that either. The focus that I want him to do is on the game plan, you know, i.e. that Panthers game plan. But that's about it. Correct. And you're absolutely right. This is going to be a play for him to be like, you know, they're a Norman saying they're going to give me like a private jet and like the governor's <laughs> mansion and like 25 million a year. I'm just saying you probably want to extend me now because, you know, right. I don't know, I'm might hot. be boomer sooner. I'm hot. You, you know, know? Saying? No, he's hot. It. Yeah, it's, might, it's, it's it might definitely, be thing. definitely leverage. Right. Don't be but stealing money from Chandler Jones, though. He needs some oh, money too. Oh no, Chandler! Oh, get your bag, Chandler. Chandler. Chandler need to get a couple more sacks. You know, saying if we go back to the if we go back to the drawing board. Yeah, he, hey, Kime was actually pretty smart not paying him after week one. I'm not. Oh, gonna no, lie. but 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 hey, He's again, get again, guess who said it? Right? I'm like everybody like pay the man now. Ah, I'm yeah. gonna wait till about the middle of the season to see exactly what he's gonna do. And he exactly. was pretty quiet for about four games straight That's before fair. last That's game fair. before San Francisco. You know what I'm saying? And then where he got, you know, what I'm saying those two sacks and a, and a pressure, right? Or what is it, three? Right. But either way, whatever he got, yeah. he yeah. got it then, right? But before that, man, he's <sighs> church mouth. Yeah, and I mean, listen, that that JB, that's why you are a you are a GM in the making because you can see the forest through the trees. God damn it! Now, Sean, you mentioned Isaiah Simmons. You're just talking about Chandler. Bergang have a pretty good go of it right now, nine and two, but there's always something to catch on film. So in your opinion, who needs to step up now and why? Who have you been watching to say, you know what, I got to see more from that guy or that side of the ball or whatever the case may be? Uh, to me, the, with, with Murray and Hopkins being out, it's kind of hard to judge the offense as they Don't are. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like Kirk has been doing a good job while they're, <laughs> while they're gone. But to me, I think it's still on the defensive side or that's Kingsbury right. That's as a right. whole. That's right, motherfucking Rob, K-Rob. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, you say, so Sean, you're, Sean. you're saying on the, on the defensive front? I think on the defensive front as a whole, I just want to see better run defense as a whole. I know they, they did better these last three games, but the Panthers game still sticks out to me as a glaring game of that game as a whole. Everyone had to get better. But I wanted to see Cliff's game plan better. I didn't like the fourth and one. I didn't like that. just set the whole game up wrong for me in my opinion, but I would say the defense, I still want them to work on the run game because they've got a lot of good games coming up that they still have to play better run defense. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. the kid needs to step up, right? The one we drafted in the first round, right? Now, the reason why he hasn't been playing is because he's not doing his due diligence, right? He's not doing his homework. He's not getting proper run fits, like Sean said, all right? He's a big thumper, all right? We need Isaiah Simmons roaming. or Isaiah Simmons is not an inside linebacker. Right, he's an outside linebacker. He doesn't take on blocks very well, which in turn gets him out of position and opens up running lanes. Um, you're right. And one thing about that, Sean, is the adjustments needed to be made. That's that was the biggest problem in the Carolina game. The adjustments. There was no adjustments being made, especially on defense. We knew yeah. Christian McCaffrey was going to get the ball. We didn't adjust to it. Right. So, uh, yeah, I, I need 25 to be better. I, I hope hope he took the off week and he did some homework in the classroom. Uh, that will make him better on the football field because we're going to need him going down the stretch. Okay, you bring up a good point, and and you you look at you look at how things have transpired over these last you know four or five games, and you look back at what happened in Carolina, and yeah, obviously health health was an issue, but Doctor Bridges, there's something there. What to, in for you? What's what's the biggest concern? We found out who needs to step up, but what's the biggest concern? What's 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 worrying you at this particular juncture? Nothing. All right. I, it's it's going to be, it's always to me, how is Cliff going to call the game? Right. It's always mm. to me how Cliff going to call the game. 
Vinny, yeah. we are always, always the most talented football team on the football field, right? Offensively and defensively, if you go player for player, we are always the most def- uh, uh, talented player team on the field, right? So looking forward, we got the Bears, right? Not to overlook them, but we got to play well. We got we got we need to take that as a tune up game. The Rams coming in here to try to get some get back. I get it, right? Uh, and also, it's gonna be a Monday night game, right? The Lions. Ain't nobody overlooking the Lions because we know how janky that is, and we got to play out there in Detroit, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, the Colts are coming in town who, you know what I'm saying, they're hit or miss, that kid Taylor, run the ball well, and we, like Sean talked about our Very well. defense. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But we got Lawrence back, right, which is a huge run stop. Record Peters yeah. is healthy, you know what I'm saying? So th- those two guys make up for J.J. Watt in itself. Chandler Jones is playing a run better. We got the Junkyard Dog. Uh you know, Kennard is still coming in, making good plays, taking over that edge. Our linebackers, again, 25, we need you, right? We need yeah. you. Point blank period, we need you. We need you to step up and be that big run stopper that you were in college. We need you, all right? Uh, offensive line-wise, lean on them, right? Lean on them. Run the ball. The, it, righteously, one thing I've seen, Sean, and he's going to open up this entire offense and shit just going to get uglier and uglier for opponents, is run the damn offense through number six. Yeah. Right? Run the offense through number six. Get him the ball 30 times a game. Some kind of way, right? You're talking about opening up big plays downfield. It's going to open up everything. I ain't talking about running through him like depending upon him like McVay did Gurley back in the day. I'm just mm-hmm. talking about let the man get his touches because it's going to open up everything else, right? Because so, his touches are a good hard three, four-yard earns, and he just takes the soul right out of your team. Right, without a doubt. He's a You're big guy. I didn't realize he was that big until I saw the person. I was like, Yo, he, you know, that kid's He's healthy. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. 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 That kid is healthy, man. Damn. Right. Exactly. So Sean, JB says, I mean, you know, comes back down to Cliff's play calling and decision making. But what what what's on your brain in terms of man, they got to keep an eye on, on this thing. It's to me, it still comes back down to the run defense. I think you look at if you don't have that tuned up, you could drop that Colts game. You could drop the um the Dallas game. And those are two games that you want to have. Because right now I'm looking, I've got the ESPN playoff machine up right now. I'm filling it out <laughs> as as JB's talking. I'm not ignoring you, JB. I'm listening and I'm doing. No, no, no. You you know, I'm multitask. Yeah. I filled it all out just based on quick draw, picking who we got. I don't think Green Bay is actually our competition. I think Tampa is because Tampa's oh, yeah. schedule looks gonna pretty get hot. easy right now. They're going to get they're hot, gonna get hot right around yeah. now. Green Bay could lose one to either Baltimore or Cleveland because mm-hmm. they have them back to back. They could drop one of those. And that puts them a tier below the rest of us. So if you drop one to the Colts or Dallas because you all of a sudden forgot how to stop the run, right. you're cooked. There goes mm-hmm. that first seed. And we need that first seed, especially if we're questioning the health of Kyler and Hop. Right. Without a doubt. Without, and also, uh, added, added entity, the third coast, special teams, right? Uh, what I'm looking at and what I've been saying all year is that Lil Rondell, man, he, he needs it. Right, and he's gonna start to make some big plays. I'm predicting this kid gonna take at least two back uh, before the Super Bowl, right? And yes, I'm predicting us to go to the Super Bowl, right? So uh, I know what I said at the beginning of the year. You know, what I'm saying that was just because I couldn't really think about. I said this, the same two teams have been in the Super Bowl, but of course, I said it also. I, I, hey, my squad, but Rondell touching that ball in the special teams. It's only a matter of time before they figure out a way to get one man. Block and him to miss one man, and that little motherfucker gonna take a couple of them back before I'm it's all. I'm a little concerned back. though with the hands. I'm a little concerned. I will. I will but go they, back but to they, that. But they, but they cleaned that up though. You know, what I'm saying after that game, he, he needed he needed that game in Green Bay, right? Or yeah. Yeah, well, that was Green Bay. No, that was Carolina, right? Yeah, he needed you know, that game in Carolina. Yeah, yeah he yeah. needed that game. He needed it because yeah, he was trying to do too much and get to the ball and reach out for the ball, and he wanted it too bad. But that was a coming of age moment right there. So yeah. he hadn't done so. it since. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going we're gonna to keep our fingers crossed. There it is. And finally, oh, gents, yeah. you know what time it is. You know, all the fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> uh, you know what time it is. We're getting into the the uh, next set of games here. And as JP mentioned, at the Bears, following this bye week, hosting the Rams at the Kitties and hosting the Colts. Now, do you guys recall, how did you guys do for the last four? We had, we had uh, hosting the Packers at Niners, mm. hosting Carolina, and at the squawks were you thinking mm. run the table then Turn no we, we, we both we both said three, three and, and one, one I think. Kind of way. yeah i think we said three yeah, and sure. one yeah okay so yeah you, you had a you had a split there so sean start with you this next slate of four what you thinking you're, you're already doing the predictor anyway so you've, you've doing, made your picks 
I am doing the predictor. I did say that we were going to, uh, just for the sake of it, I did say that the Rams do beat us this time around. I don't think we sweep the NFC West. I think this is the one NFC West game we drop. I think that's a fair thing. So I say three and one. All right. Uh, I say three and one as well, but I'm going to say the Colts. I'm going to, I'm going to say that the Colts are, that's a close one. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. You just talked about the fact that the run game and then, uh, but at the same time, I'm going to throw another monkey rich in that and saying that Carson Wentz ain't Carson Wentz all year. And he's going to Carson Wentz before the year is over with. Right. And our <laughs> defense might just be the defense to make him Carson Wentz. So that's kind of a question. Mark. Wentz himself. Like very well put, like, like we've been saying the last two quarters, right? It's a three and one with a question mark because you know very well we could very well go four and zero, oh, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, if I have to pick one that we're gonna lose, I'm gonna say three and one. And it would be the Colts. I agree. I do think I do think um, they're gonna win their next three, and then I mean, listen, the kitties are gonna play them tough. You know that's gonna be a jank, and then the the gold, you know, the drunken golden toe is gonna come home and mule kick a seventy five yarder to beat to beat the kitties. So you'll, you'll probably, you'll probably <laughs> escape from Detroit with a W, but I do think, Speak I on think it, man. you know, I mean, I've, I've watched, uh, listen, Prater, man, that guy, that guy enjoys some, enjoys himself a pint of hot damn. And he runs, he runs on the field and hot gets damn. A job done. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still salty. <laughs> that you guys got him. Damn. But I guarantee he's, he's got like three Prater five, jerseys in his closet. Five, right now. five o'clock. I love Prater. Deals, man. I love Prater, man. Love, yeah, but listen, I do think I do think they are going to drop that drop that game to the Colts on the back of Jonathan Taylor, who's having a hell of a season. Uh, but yeah. we'll see. We're all we're all we're all saying uh, three and one, and that's it. Uh, Doctor McConnell, uh, before we get out of here, uh, plug Casual Sports, KSRNAZ. What do you got coming up? What shows you on? All that fun stuff, sir. Yeah, right now we're on a little bit of a hiatus, but we are still trying to turn out articles or at least your guys' uh, shows out as much as we can because you guys are just appreciate grinding it. them out like yeah, crazy. We appreciate uh, it. We appreciate it. KSRNAZ.com. Otherwise, you can uh, interact with the page. We're still sharing a lot of news and things like that. So just yep. stay with awesome. us, man. Yep, some Arizona State coverage I saw recently. You guys, yeah, you mm-hmm. guys are on top of all things. Money making like- Mitch. We found Money him. He was Mitch. traveling for Money us. Making games. In the photos. That's right. Got him. Um, Shout, shout to, shout to our brother Earl. We love you, um, Ed, Javon, Flex, the whole, the whole squad. And uh, listen, it's a, it's a hell of a time to be an Arizona sports fan. You got best team in the NFL, best team in the NBA. Good God Almighty, what is and we happening? We still somehow have a hockey team and a baseball team, so that's cool. Oh, right, my God, right. Jesus Christ, <laughs> catch up, Coyotes. Coyotes. Catch up, backs Like, what are you doing over here? Come on, man. Let's go the Mercury. Don't forget, let's not forget our girls. Now you know what I'm saying. They the Mercury, went to the championship man. this year too. Shit. Yeah, that's that's true. True. That's true. No slouch that's either. Yep, yeah, that's true. right. You know what I'm saying? Well, hope hopefully the the Burr Gang and or the Suns can bring home the hardware. Damn Please. it, this year somebody. But Sean will be back here in in the coming weeks in the new year once we pass this uh, slate of games. And uh, until then. Make sure to tap in casualsports.com, K S R N Arizona AZ, pardon me, dot com. For all your things, Desert. Sean, we love you. Happy holidays, you, sir. We will see Appreciate you, back you guys. Here Thank soon. you. Please. Yes, see indeed. You. All right. So that's our guy, Sean. Of course, if you're if you're just tapping in, you just missed. Um, you just missing, and Will ah, Will said he's not moving back. Come on, Will, you're, uh, you're nor- where are you in North Dakota? Uh, Jesus Christ, Will, you read ra- Will? Would you rather be in North Dakota or Phoenix? Come on now, get out of here! Come on, oh dog. my Spot. God! Oh my! It's the God. desert over here. It's the desert. Well, shout out to the desert. So again, if you missed it, we just covered some Bergang coming up, talking some college foosball, college football playoff coaching carousel, and of course, some NFL Week Twelve week ha- recap. And week 13 Savage Picks. Tap in with our sponsor, SavageCBD.com. Use the code review for 50% off and free shipping on your first order. Come on, Berg Gang. You guys are the best team in the league. Use code Kyler or Berg Gang. Super Kyler Murray shirt or hoodie and Berg Gang all day. Shirt or hoodie apparel available right now at JB. I put my order in. Review.com. God damn it. Did I put you? My order in for my Berg Gang all day shirt. North Dakota. All right. Shirt because the hoodies are sold out. Oh man, it's hoodie season. Hoodie season. <laughs> I mean, I mean, even though it ain't really hoodie season here, but you know. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, well, let me yeah, let me man. let me talk to, let me talk to Chad and our friends at Trends Club about that to make sure you get a hoodie and not a shirt. God damn it! All right, listen, JB. For the first time in the in the history <laughs> of this fine uh, broadcast, I can say that holy 
Jesus Almighty. It happened. Mm. It happened. Mm. We finally did it. Michigan finally beat Ohio State 42-27. And uh, on the back of uh, Hassan Haskins, five Hassan touchdowns, uh, school record. First of all, you know what I'm going to say about this, but uh, did you see the game? And if so, uh, what did you think about this performance and them finally getting it done against the Rats of Columbus? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I uh, I watched the entire game, right? And I was in You did? In awe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was in awe the whole game, man. I just – at the physicality – the the imposing of the will of the block M onto the Buckeye. It was beautiful. I mean, it, it it was it was cool because to me it was watching old school Big Ten football, right? Because running the ball, it will never get old, right? Because Ohio State ran the ball well too. Let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like they had some good runs. Uh, their little running back, their little running back duo did well. Uh, but they just couldn't throw the ball very well because one, the D line of Michigan was getting after that quarterback, and then just yes, just, the, just the just physicality, man, just the physicality of, of, of Big Blue. And it was lovely to watch, man. And then to, to top that off, I mean, I watched a little bit of um, Minnesota, and uh, who did they play? It was another Big Ten game, right? They played Wisconsin, and they Wisconsin knocked Wisconsin was, out of the Big Ten and, championship. Yeah. And that was the same thing. Hard-hitting defense, running the ball. Like, it was just – it was nice to watch Big Ten football. Watch a little bit of the Michigan State game in Penn State. It was snowing. You know what I'm saying? It's just – it was just fun to watch, man. Yeah, and I mean, listen, they, they didn't just beat them and, and get lucky. 42-27. They smacked Ohio shit out State. Of them. Ohio State had no answer um, for the run. And I got to tell you, it was refreshing as hell, hmm. Dr. Bridges, to finally watch this Michigan team live up to their talent, not try to be cute, right. and do what needs to be done to win. I want to I want to give a special shout out to that goofy Paul Feinbaum hmm. and all the rest of you lames hmm. that were talking that, ooh, that cash money shit. They were, hmm. they were, JB, they were talking big shit hmm. this week. Hmm. Big shit. And, uh, for the first time in Harbaugh's tenure, we have a chance to win the Big Ten championship. And as of right now, Michigan's ranked number two in the college football playoff ranking. So as long as they handle their business against Iowa, again, right. shout out to Dr. T, he will be in the building. They're going to be in the college football playoff with a chance to play for a national championship. Without a doubt. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Ohio State fans. Get ready. Because if Michigan goes to the, the college football playoff, I don't even care if they don't. I don't even care if they win the national championship or not. But if they're in the net, if they're in the college football playoff, get ready. That transfer portal's about to be going crazy. Oh yeah, you yeah. better get ready because the the ten year war is coming back, and right. we are bringing the rain nice. on that ass. So we don't get it. too comfortable. We love to Do hear. Do not it. get too comfortable. <laughs> we love to hear, it, man. All right, now keeping it keeping it college. Oh, all the whoop whoop, all aboard the coaching carousel. USC hires Lincoln Riley from Oklahoma, and Brian <laughs> Kelly sends a weak ass ghost text to all his players on fucking an Android or some shit, and he <laughs> is going to LSU. What, JB, first of all, your your overall impression of this move, this carousel, this musical chairs? Damn, that that's what I when I first saw it. That's that's all I can say was damn, damn, damn. And I was talking <laughs> about the money these motherfuckers was getting. Right. Damn. Right. Yo. Lincoln Riley got jets and houses and and 120 plus mil and 10 years and Brian Kelly got eight and 95 and I think they gave him half of the Gulf of Mexico. Like, I mean, come right. on, man. This dude got a street named after him and all kind of shit in Baton Rouge already. <laughs> he was staying in a little boots house when he first got there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come they on. Changed, man. They changed Martin Luther King Boulevard to Brian Kelly Boulevard. Right. It's, it's, it's not, no, it so, so it's Brian Kelly and Martin Luther King Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't take Martin Luther King off of there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, MLK like, like, gonna be MLK, but it's Brian Kelly and MLK at this point. So, uh, I mean, it's just like here's what it is, man. Like you know, on the, on the Burning Bridges podcast last night, we do a, um, a, a segment called Rapid Fire, where I answer hot take questions in tw in ten seconds, as opposed to doing it fucking twenty minutes like ESPN do. Right. And and one of the questions that was posed to me was, did Ohio did OU get duped? 
No, they didn't get Duke. That man's been there forever. He's had success. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what yeah. What more do you want from the man? Now, the only part that, that that's just kind of fucked up is the way that he goes to his players, right? I would have gave him an explanation. I would have told him what it is as a man. This is what I'm doing for my career. If you can't understand it, I apologize. I never lied to either one of you guys because this kind of sideswiped me. I made a decision. I'm living my decision. You guys are going to be just fine. They're going to bring somebody in to coach you up, right? Transfer portals right there. Hey, you ever been to Southern California? <laughs> right? Like, so uh, it's, it is it is what it is, man. This is sports. And coaches have always had this opportunity. So I don't know why people are bugging about this shit, right? I don't know why everybody's so in the uproar about it because the transfer portal is one thing. But coaches being able to say, you know what, I'm yeah, I'm out. Let me let me let me see what it's like over here, right? And for 120 some million shit, I would have saw what it was about too. Right, exactly. And for for the reviews, I can see it on the screen. The the unconfirmed but mostly confirmed report is the overall deal is going to be 110 million. USC is playing Zillow and copping his home in Norman for half a million mm -hmm. and a half a million over the asking price. Oh, yeah. He's in yeah. a, a, a nice home in Southern California. Mm -hmm. And of course, the boosters, like they threw him, they threw him the keys to the G6. Ultimate, so like, ultimate yeah. use of the G6, man. Mm -hmm. And then now looking that's at both, a, that, that's both his houses in Norman now. He got two houses yeah. in Norman. So they paid over, they paid over half a million for like asking price for both of them. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you're looking at if you're looking at a uh, uh, Brian Kelly's deal, uh, it's going to be six figure bonuses, two cars, a one point two million dollar house loan, and of course a lot of incentives. It's a ten year contract, ninety five mm -hmm. million, mm -hmm. um, and obviously they get incentives. He gets he gets incentives if they you know if they hit the bowl game, um, national title, um, you know a lot of stuff that's similar. Like you know Jim Harbaugh has a um, has mm -hmm. a uh, similar clauses like that. And shout out to Jim Harbaugh for giving away all of his bonuses to, right. to those cold Michigan. people. Yeah, people that lost it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's dope. So, uh, uh, I mean, hey, listen, shout out to shout out to Mel Tucker, man, getting the bag at Michigan State. What you mean? Getting that right? bag. Shout out to and Mel Will, Tucker getting that dough, right? And and Will, you're right. Uh, you saw um, JB, your boy, your boy Spencer. Are already already decommitted. We, yeah, we are. No, we already knew he was going to hit the transfer, the transfer portal. That was going to happen if Lincoln would have stayed or not. He was going to do that regardless. Is he right? coming yeah. home? Is he about to go to Arizona State? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where this kid's going to go. To be honest, man, I, I think he should go to a lower level Division One school and just kind of like get his numbers up, man. To be honest, mm -hmm. right? There's no doubt the kid can play ball. He needs to get bigger. He needs to swallow that fucking attitude he got and shit it out and let it flush down the toilet and, and humble himself and just play ball and stop looking, you know, like, boy, you ain't did shit. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? And then that's what he has to understand. And that's, you know. But, yeah, if I was him, I'd go to a low-level Division One school, just get my numbers up. And, he, you know, you already done had that first round great, right? So that's what people don't understand. You already yeah, he's already gotten the first round great, right? So all he got to do is prove to people that he can do this again. Competition level don't really mean shit at this point. I, you know, with the way college football is designed now, yeah, you got the big power five schools and everything, but when we took a, a, a linebacker from Tulsa, right, in the first round, right? Exactly. So, I mean, it's about who your guy is. He's already got that first round great, man. So just go out there and ball. Put your, get your numbers up. Show people that you can be a team player. Show people that you can be an encourager as opposed to a dickhead. And you know, not to put on an act, but you got to change. You got to you got to do a complete one eighty, homeboy. Like it is what it is. Exactly. And Will mentioned you already see some of the uh, the commitments changing. A couple oh, cats yeah. are already already following Lincoln to SC. And oh, for sure. Yeah. SC SC is going to be cooking within within two years. Absolutely. Because now, finally, a lot of this California talent is is going to stay home. Yes, because that's they why are. they weren't going to SC. It wasn't about they didn't want to play for SC, but SC was SC's culture was in shambles. So yes, that's why they're yes, going to other SC places. SC was straight trash, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't no right. the culture, the, 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 everything was just trash, man. Mm -hmm. So exactly. yeah, shout out to the USC for saying, you know, making a play. They made a play. They said, they made, we gotta a, they get made this a dude. They made a goddamn play. We gotta get and, this dude. And finally, JB, before before we move on to the <clears throat> NFL, not for long, no fun league. Oh, the playoff is getting hot. Current rankings, Georgia, Michigan, Alabama, and Cincinnati with Oklahoma State and Notre Dame on the outside looking in. So going into championship weekend, uh, what are your predictions for the final seeds of the playoff? What do you think is going to happen? 
Well, uh, oh, hey. let me get my little sheet because I talked about this last night. Championship Ew. weekend, right? Uh, look, we're looking at – so, first of all, that Georgia-Bama game, a lot of people are going to be shocked, man, but Georgia and Bama are going to be close. Uh, everybody thinks Georgia's going to beat the shit out of Alabama in what world, I don't. right? This this is still Alabama we're talking about. They mm-hmm. haven't played like the Alabama uh, Alabamas that we've known over the last five or six years. Okay, well, it is what it is. They're in, they're, they're in quote-unquote a rebuilding year. I know they say Alabama don't rebuild, they just reload. They're reloaded, but their bullets ain't traveling as far as they used to. It is what it is, <laughs> right? So they're going to play Georgia Thank Tough. You. I think they're going to expose some things that no other team could expose that Georgia does bad that other teams just couldn't handle. They couldn't expose it because they weren't talented enough and weren't coached well enough. That's no knock on the other man. Uh, Michigan is going to destroy Iowa. Destroy Iowa. All right. Now, ain't, ain't no fingers crossed. What the fuck are you going to do to them? Where is Iowa's talent? You know what I'm saying? If they keep the same mindset and game plan they had against Ohio State, they are going to destroy Iowa, right? It's going to so. get ugly. Right? So. It's, it's going to get ugly, right? Uh, Cincy uh, has to play Houston. I don't know, Cincy, right? I mean, I know y'all been doing y'all thing and everything, and y'all earned this number four, but – Don't trick man, it off, Luke. Don't right. Trick don't, it be, off. don't be out there fucking Ryan. The old ball coach <laughs> don't like fucking Ryan, right? And then you got to look out for who's uh, – I, who's I was in Iowa State? Who's number five? Uh, Oklahoma State, and then Oklahoma. Yeah, State. so Okie State. You got they're playing Baylor, so they got to handle their business. And then fucking Notre Dame, bro. Right? Fucking Notre Dame. I, I'm just that's all I'm gonna leave it at that. Fucking Notre Dame. Could you they imagine are, if, they, if they make the playoff and Brian Kelly flew the coop for that big gumbo but, bull, BB? But it don't it don't matter because because see right now. Right now, Houston boys always come to play. Yes, they do. They, and they've been, they've been doing it it's consistently. So, But what my thing is that Notre Dame, man, get y'all ass in the conference, bro. Y'all ain't going to never win no goddamn national championship. Team. I mean, I, what the, hey. didn't, they, didn't, they, didn't they accept the, uh, a, a, an invitation to the ACC? I get, uh, Yeah, so I guess they still play in the ACC. But honestly, Notre Dame, Cincinnati, come to the Big Ten. Just come to the Big Ten. Right. You know what I'm saying? But either be the way, you need to put your head in. Somebody had the audacity to tweet like, wow, why Brian Kelly gonna leave South, uh, South Bend, Indiana, to go to Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Uh, three letters, asshole. S E C, right? Three more letters, L S U. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Like, he has an opportunity now to win a national championship, right? Because if he builds that team back up, you know what I'm saying? Kids don't mind it. They want to come to LSU. It's fun. Death Valley, hundred two thousand. They holding it. It's, it's crazy yeah. atmosphere. It's beautiful down there, and when they're winning, it's one of the most fun places to play. You can't tell me that that year that Ed Ogeron took them to the playoffs with Chase and and and, and, and with Joe Burrow. That was one of the most fun college football team, fun college football years ever. Right? right? That was so much fun to get the gag, get the gag like that. You know, mm-hmm. just that culture and they're having fun, and man, it was dope. So that's gonna be them regardless, no matter who they yeah. coach. You, and right? and and you and and you already know the thing with Notre Dame is that they have because they're like I think is Notre Dame is a private school, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Notre Dame has higher academic standards to get in and be eligible to play. So right. it's just naturally harder for talent across the board to get in there. So that's why they always have had it, had issues. They and can't then, get and everybody. And then I of mean, course, and then of course, they're just a bunch of fucking prudes. Let's just call it what the yeah. fuck it is, right? Yeah. You know. They went and one for the Gipper. All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I let us go, baby. <laughs> hey, somebody put a, a meme up uh, on Twitter that said, "Yeah, Brian Kelly at a at a at a, at a, at a cage and shout to my some. Yeah, can I get uh, two poor boys, please? <laughs> Not poor boys, poor boys. Can I get two poor boy sandwiches? <laughs> uh, Boston that's Brian a down, Kelly. That's a down south inside joke. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So listen, what your 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 who are your final four? After all that being said, what who are the final four in what order after this weekend? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say Bama's going to beat Georgia, but it's going to be close. So Georgia remain number one. Um, Michigan remain number two, right? Uh, I think that Okie State beats Baylor, and they get up at number three. I, I, I think that um, – I honestly think since he's going to end up losing to Houston, right? Um, really, I do. I think since he's gonna fuck up and lose to Houston, right? And then it's just gonna be a matter of 
do they want to put Notre Dame in the playoffs? Could you imagine? Right? Because I, I hope they do. Just because it would be it would be hilarious. Let's be honest, it'd be hilarious if Notre Dame still made the playoff and Brian Kelly flew the coop. Yeah, I mean it would be. You know what I'm saying? Like it would be something to see. But they get mashed out. But it would still be funny. But then is it? But then it wouldn't be something to see. So I, I don't know. I just I that fourth one. I'm just gonna leave it in the air because I, I don't know. I, I'm hoping that they don't go because I'm so sick of that shit. But that's just me. Uh, All right. So I'm take, I think I think I think Georgia wins. I think I think Michigan wins. I think um, I think Cincinnati does handle business. And just because I think it would be hilarious, I'm putting Notre Dame at number two now. But, since- uh, but hold on. But to be honest, here here's something to pose to you: If Bama loses to Georgia by like three points, who's to say that they won't put Bama back oh. at number four? See, it's okay. So, so there, there's, there's Bama your four. To the number one seed right there. That's so a good bet. Who's to say that they won't put Bama right back at number four? That's right? a good bet. Let's let's see what the committee does. But just because I think it would be hilarious, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to yeah. be Notre Dame. And keep your eye on this, JB. Uh, as as about an hour before we came on here, they um, Notre Dame hired Marcus Freeman, their their DC, which. That's gonna be, you know, that's that's a hell of a fir- first uh, head coaching job for him. But shout, you know, shout to him. Congrats to him. Sure. Keep an eye if Cincinnati loses. Keep an eye on Oklahoma trying to mm. snipe Luke Fickle and mm. getting him over to Boomer sooner in the carousel. Right, and, 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 and the drama and the drama, and the drama and continues. Right, the drama continues. All right, so that is it for some college of who's ball. If you're still tapping in with us, shout to everybody who's been dropping comments, questions, the whole line today. Uh, keep doing that, and we are moving into some Week 12 recap, starting with Jimmy, the Panthers lost to the Dolphins in the Bermuda Triangle 33-10. to Cam Newton got benched. Christian McCaffrey is out for the season with an ankle injury. What is <laughs> happening with your beloved keep pounding Panthers, sir? What's oh the deal? Oh, my God. I don't know, man. I mean, they went from motherfucking sugar to shit real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, had a spark when you started, but now he's just garbage. And I'm talking to Cam at this point. I mean – uh, I'm back. Yeah, you are back to that bullshit you was doing two years ago. Uh, mm-hmm. So, man, I don't know. Uh, it's it's and Christian McCaffrey. I mean, I don't know, bro. You can't stay healthy, so you know what I'm starting to think. Okay, you know, you know what I'm starting to think. All right, you know what I'm saying. He might be on that. You know what I'm saying. He might be taking a little bit too much of that. And <laughs> with the ankle injury. If, hey, but he didn't have a hell of a lot more than ankle injury, bro. Like, come on, man. This dude had all kind of shit going on, right? But still, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, yeah, I'm telling you, bro. I mean, you know, the kid gained like 14 pounds over, over uh, all season, man. Like, running around looking like a fucking action figure. Hey, I done seen it happen too many times, man. So, Christian McCaffrey, starting to question your credibility, son. You know what I'm saying? You might want to put that shit down, baby. But if you put it down, you ain't going to be the same. So, huh, I don't know. Shot me in the ass, Jake. Shot me in the ass. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see. Yeah, the Panthers are still in the mix, but they they are on life support and they need yeah, they to figure out quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, now keeping it moving, we saw the, the dog yeah, pound yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. All of the Ravens on Sunday Night Football, sixteen to ten. Baker couldn't do much of anything. Really, the whipper like puppies. Now listen, there's there's, there's you, you JB, you see this on the damn Talking Head shows. People are criticizing Baker. Some people saying it's his play. Some people saying it's his body getting all banged up and injured. Do you feel like now they're they're going into a bye week this week? Do they need to sit his ass down and put Case in there to right the ship? What, what do you think they need to do at this point? Oh man, um, Baker Mayfield and I, I've said it, and you know we we've always showed love to the Browns because we, I guess, for better point, or for worse. At, yeah, at some point we just felt sorry for him, Benny. And so I got to look at the common denominator, man. It's it's Baker, right? It's just him. And, and I and I've been saying it all season, man. Baker go Baker. He turns the ball over at the most inopportune times. Yeah, he can't stay healthy, and that's not his fault. You know, what I'm saying he's banged up. And he, you know, took some hits, and he plays reckless. And I get all that shit, but you gotta look at the common denominator, man. Like it's him because their offensive line is still intact. I mean, they run the ball well, right? You know, they get the ball to Chubb. You know, what I'm saying, and he run. He does great things, and their defense is still. Doing decent things and they're making stops and getting the ball back to him, and then there he goes. All right. So yeah. Yeah. He needs to kind of kick the fuck back, get healthy. Man, maybe if he get healthy, you know what I'm saying, and, and Case Keenan get in and win a couple games and get him back in the mix. And then the AFC North is <laughs> man, that thing is a toss-up. 
Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Bungles handling business. You both picked that one correctly. Yeah, we know, yeah. Mm-hmm. And finally, Dr. Bridges, oh, the squawks fell to the Washington football team on Monday Night Football. They're just a hot mess. You hear all you hear all the rumors. You hear about what they could and could not do. But at this point, do they need to commit to a rebuild? Do they need to blow this thing up? What do the, the squawks need to do? Russ needs to go. I don't think Pete Carroll is going to be the head coach next year. Um, honestly, they're going to fire Pete, Pete Carroll at the end of the year. Uh, and Russ is out. I think. Do, he's think, do, do you it. think they're going to straight up fire him? Mm-hmm. They're not going to. They're not going to comfortably ask him to resign. I think he's going. Well, I mean, you know, they're going to say that. Oh, they agreed to part Same ways. Face. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever, whatever you want to say, <laughs> but it, it's come time that he needs to go, man. I mean, it's you know he, he done did the thing with it. You know what I'm saying? What he got two championships there or one? Just the one. You got the one, but he, he got, got like yeah. yeah, got two appearances. I mean, you know, what I'm saying multiple playoff appearances and. You know what I'm saying? Winning records and a couple of NFC West titles. And like, come on, man. You know, you done did it. You know, you he like 80 years old, man. So man, sit down somewhere and Russ go go get it's time for a new beginning, right? Will said Will says Pete Carroll's going to OU. He's good going Lord. up with you. Oh, you. P U. Oh my God. He's 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 going to the retirement home. Uh, he's going, he's, uh, he, he's going to Southern California back to that beach house where he was taking them hoes to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fight on, god damn it. Fight on. Uh, pow, pow. All right, so that's some week 12 recap. Of course, we're going to get into some savage picks. Before we do, we got to see how we did after week 12. Mm. And with a drum roll, please. <laughs> JB has closed the gap, bringing it to his record to 163 and one. And I hold the lead by one game, mm. 101, 62 and one. Ooh, you, you want to hear some wild shit? Hot? You want to hear some wild shit at, at, at the Burning Bridges podcast? You know what I'm saying? I got uh, Jeff and, and, and C and, uh, and Johnny. I was number, like number five. It was, it was a couple more of us. So I was like number mm. five. Now I'm number one. After 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 the bye week, they count the bye week, and, and you know what I'm saying this week, I'm number one now. So I don't know, Benny. You know what I'm saying we coming on scroll, coming we, on scroll. We, well, you did. <laughs> well, you, well, you did. You did something right. Now we both we both incorrectly picked uh, my kitties there. Of course, they fucked it up. Dan Campbell called two timeouts back to back. Good God Almighty! If you, you if you can't find if you don't if you got if you forgot how to fuck up, fuck up a game, they'll find a new way to fuck up a game. So the the Bears got it done. Cocaine the Raiders JB picked correctly. They won in overtime. I picked the Bills correctly. They they whooped that ass Oof. in New Orleans. The Bucks got it done. They the did. Jets beat the Texans. The G men beat JB's drafting team, the Eagles. Of course, we talked about the Dolphins winning. The Pats dude got it done. Bungles smashed the Steelers. The Falcons won. Broncos won there a mile high. The Packers, JB Pickley, cr- picked that one correctly. Niners got it done. We both picked the Vikings. Ravens, we got that one. And the Washington football team. So that was a recap. Let's get into it right now with week 13. Savage pick started with a... Ding! Up them cowgirls, them in a cowboy. Them trying to get healthy cowboy. That the big mm. gumbo bull baby. Taysom Hill, your boy. Mr. 95 million is starting this week. And the line is four and a half for the Cowboys in New Orleans. Yeah, I got to get on this being white thing. Take some Hill ain't did shit <laughs> and made ninety five million dollars. It's crazy. All right, yeah, the Cowboys getting the win. He said I got to get on this being white thing. Oh my Man. god. Oh my god, the Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys as well. Um, they're getting healthy at the right time. It's going to be interesting come January second when they play uh, the Burr Gang. So I'm taking them as well. All right, it's the uh, the Skull Vikings blowing it in the Big Bell Bottom last week, going against my kitties, and the line is a touchdown for the Vikings on the road. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't bet the touchdown, but I think they'll end up winning the game by three points, some shit, you know what I'm saying, on some weird shit. Yeah, some jankified, some jankified, you know, a hey, kitties, time of possession, limit the turnovers. You can you can beat a team like the Vikings, but it's gonna be tough sledding. It's a home game, so oh. we'll see. We'll see if they respond after yet another tough loss. Uh, they're hosting the Bears. All right, okay. now off the bye week, the Burr Gang going into Chicago, and the line is seven and a half for the Burr Gang. JB, why do they get it done? Uh, all three phases play well. Right, offense, defense, special teams. I think it's going to be a couple of hiccups in the beginning. Again, I said it earlier. I'm not sure if Kyle is going to play. 
Uh, if they don't, if he doesn't play, I think we'll roll, we'll steamroll him, right? To be honest, because if Kyler plays, he has to come back, get back in the groove. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, but yeah, either way it goes, I think all three phases play well. We get the win. Yeah, here's what it is. I agree. I'm taking the Burger as well, and I agree. I think they should still let Kyler and DeAndre sit in this one because they've proven that they have enough depth and they are sound in all three phases enough to beat a bear, especially a team like the Bears. Let's be honest. Right. Yeah, Matt Nagy's yeah. gonna get a get a get a Greyhound ticket to the middle of nowhere after this season. I mean, they ain't go anywhere. They can beat the Bears uh, on the road, but hopefully they come prepared and they don't play down to play down to their BS. But I'm still taking the Burr Gang as well. All right. Top of Bay Pirate Ship is riding and sailing in to the big Maybach. Uh, Tampa Bay and Atlanta, and the line is 10 and a half for Tampa Bay on the road. Wouldn't take the line because I feel like Tampa Bay is going to kind of stumble and bumble a little bit. I feel like Atlanta's going to have a, a little success probably like in the third, and then Tom going to get mad, and then just, they're going to do their thing. <laughs> um, focal point for Atlanta's defense is going to be um, Lenny Fournette, right? So. Mm-hmm. They're gonna they're gonna you know stop the run. It's gonna be their focal point, which is gonna cause Tampa some trouble. Uh, and, and eventually, Tampa gets the win. I agree. Leonard Fournette snapped last week. He had, he had four touchdowns. Um, they had to rally to beat uh, the Colts, but I'm taking them as well. Antonio Brown's still out, but he, he's you know making hay with Mike Evans and finding his his guy Gronk again. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking the Bucks as well. All right, it's Chad Cars Colts head to the big H town. What it do? And the What'd line is nine and a half for the Colts on the road. Yeah, Colts. And I I'm, and I'm and I and I'll take the line. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Uh, I'm taking the Colts as well off a big game from Jonathan Taylor. You know, Wentz is going to make some mistakes, but definitely going to get bailed out by Jonathan Taylor. All right, it's the E A G L E S Eagle shot to AAT and our friends over there taking on the B U M S bums bums bums. Oops, I mean the J E T S Jets 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 coming off a W and the line is six and a half for the Eagles on the road. Say word to Fireman Fred, you gonna have a headache after this one because the Eagles gonna win. I agree. I definitely do not trust the Jets to win back to back. Eagles coming off a tough loss. I am taking the Eagles as well. The Eagles are not going to lose to two New York teams in a row. Can't happen. I refuse to let. I refuse to believe that's going to happen. The Giants and the Jets back to back on nah, Philly, son. on North Philly, you know what I'm saying? Mm, on, on Broad early. Street, son. Early. You know what I mean? Pop house. We're both taking the Eagles. All right, keeping them moving. It's the San Diego, Barstow, L.A., Bakersfield, San Antonio, parts unknown Chargers. So we'll be to back in big- San Diego. Right, they really need to go back to San Diego. Probably have more success. And they're going to the big chili bowl against the Bungles, and the line is three. Three for the Bungles at home. Who they shit, what you mean? Who they who they say they only gonna beat them by three points. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh Cincinnati gets to win. Yeah, I agree. Just uh I can't trust the Chargers to be consistent, particularly going on the road. So I'm gonna take the Bungles as well. All right, it's the G men going to the Bermuda Triangle to Miami. Miami is getting a little hot. Miami is getting a little, a little hot. And the line is three for Miami at home. Ooh, don't look now, baby. Mm-hmm. Fans. I got the fans, man. I got I the fans. I think the, yeah. the, the G men season is over. Danny Jones is banged up. They may <laughs> fire their coach. There's a whole mm. lot of drama going there. And Miami is just starting to get cooking a little bit at the right time. So yes, I'm sir. Yes, sir. Fans as well. All right, JB, this is kind of an intriguing matchup. I'm not going to lie. It's the Washington football team at the. And the line is two and a half for the Raiders at home. But, ooh, buddy. I think the Raiders going to win, man. I said it last night on the Burning Bridges podcast. I think that the, the emergence of Deshaun Jackson opening up the, the middle of the field, uh, which where Derek Carr throws the ball very well. Uh, I think they're going to take advantage of that. I think they're going to hit Deshaun a couple times that game. Uh, the Washington football team is playing good ball, and their defensive backfield is playing good ball, which is why they're going to use Deshaun Jackson to take advantage of them and their aggression. And then they're going to literally run the ball down their damn throat. And, yeah, you know, Vegas gets the win, though. Yeah, and you saw Monday Night Football, you know, uh, J.D. McKissick got banged up. He didn't practice today. He had a concussion. Um, and obviously, you know, they really kind of run their offense through him. I mean, Taylor mm-hmm. Heineke, he's, you know, is, is about as solid as a backup quarterback as you can have. Right. And shot to Vegas for doing a very Vegas thing with this line. Two and a two half. Two and a half, yeah. Two and a half. Right. That, that's mm-hmm. a line that that one that one's tricky. So you can probably, a lot of people lose money on that one. Yeah, exactly. But I'm going to take <clears> the, <throat> the Raiders at home as well. 
All right, it's Will's quote the Raven nevermore at the Steelers. The Steelers who are limping into week 13, and the line mm. is three and a half for the Ravens on the road. Quote the Raven <laughs> nevermore. Yes, sir. Uh, taking the Ravens. Taking the, taking the Ravens as well. Uh, who knows? Maybe uh, in two weeks it would be like, new coach of Oklahoma, Mike Tomlin. Like, no. you know, you know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, after cussing out people in the press room, right, he's, he's right. going boomer sooner. Because like, uh, fuck, fuck out of here with that. Yeah, you know man, we out of here. The organization will not let Big Ben go, and they're paying for it now. So I, I'm taking the Ravens as well. All right. Speaking of being in the college football coaching conversation, JB, it's the jank ass Jaguars coming out mm-hmm. here to face the Rams, who are limping after a tough loss to the Pack, and the line is 13 for the Rams at home. First of all, uh, this game is going to be close as hell, right? Ooh. Because Jack- cause Jacksonville is going to come over there to play, right? Uh, the Rams are getting exposed, and people are figuring out what they are, okay? Uh, you know, and that's just what it is. You're going to see it. I think Jacksonville's defense is going to have some success against them. I think it's going to make it really hard for them to win this game. If you if you take a 13-point line, you are a fool, all right, because they're going to have to struggle to win this game. So I'm going to take the Rams, but they're going to have to fight to win this one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't trust that line. You know, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna. This is gonna, this is gonna be a bulletin board game for them going into face Jalen Ramsey. So they are gonna play him tough. Urban's gonna have him ready to play. But just from a talent standpoint, the Rams aren't gonna trick oh, off two yeah, in a row. Yeah, yeah, and I'm course. taking the Rams as well. All right, All right JB, yeah, yeah. We're taking it to your division. It's ooh, Niner gang, ooh, the Niner bang, gang, bang, Niner gang, ooh. going against the Squawks. The Squawks ooh. are looking like little baby birds right now, and the line is three and a half for. The Niners up in that big coffee pot. Mm-hmm. Now don't get it twisted. It's going to be a wild game, right? Uh, I know San Fran is going to come out and try to run the ball. I think that Seattle. I think there's a lot of pride there, right? Russell's a you know he's had success. He knows how to win. Yeah, hey, man, they're not going to go to lay down and die. I think San Fran ends up winning it. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that San Fran's banged up and all they got is Debo Samuel. So think about if Debo Samuel's goes down, what they going to do, right? <laughs> Uh, right. X factor, right? So you got to keep him healthy because they're gonna try to feed him. Hey, uh, I think I think uh, San Francisco escapes by the hairs of their chinny chin chin. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think that the, I think just for the sake of the game, they are going to. I think Seattle's gonna show up from an effort standpoint, but um, I just don't think they have enough to handle um, the Niners, who you know muck it up and take advantage on some play calling. All right, Sunday Night Football. They flex this game, JB. Mm. It's the Broncos coming down from mile high going in the Chiefs' kingdom, and the line is 10 for the Chiefs at home. I got the Chiefs. Um, problem is you don't never know which Bronco team going to show up. You know what I'm saying? So, this is true. Uh, 222, you know what I'm saying? He was banging up that game in, out, in, out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to young Patrick Sertain, the second. You know what I'm wow. saying? Nephew was handing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, greatness. But, yeah, I think the Chiefs get the job done. Um, they ain't the Chiefs of old, but I think that defense is really going to spark them uh, and, and, and get them grinding it out late in the season. Correct. I agree. I'm t- taking the Chiefs as well. The heat up of the Chiefs and that barbecue begins right now. And mm-hmm. finally, it's... Is it the patch, dude? Ah. You. 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 Pats at Bills, and the line is only three for the Bills at home. Ooh, mm, intriguing matchup. Bills, <laughs> you stupid. The Pats, fool. <laughs> the Pats, you know what I'm saying? Pats get the win, man. Something going on in Buffalo, and I don't know what the hell it is, but we know what's going on in New England. I said it in our preview show. That midway through the season, New England will be a snowball rolling downhill, and that's exactly what they are right now. So yeah, yeah. I agree. I'm taking the Pats as well off some good <laughs> schemes by Bill Belichick on the defensive end and Mac Jones not making mistakes. Uh, bye week: Browns, Packers, Titans, and Panthers. And that's it. We'll see who's right, who's wrong, who's mm-hmm, both right, who's mm-hmm, both mm-hmm, wrong. Mm-hmm, and JB, quickly because we got to get out of here. Your final thoughts for the reviewers out there, good sir. Man, just enjoy what's going on right now, man. It's December already. Shit. It's beautiful um, football. It's beautiful College football, football, NFL, college football, NBA. college basketball, NBA, all that, man. Go Suns, go Cardinals. Yeah, you know I mean, the Valley Hot, uh, ESPN, you ain't got to show us love. We don't care. We're going to keep winning. That's all we're going to do. All we care about is winning anyway. Yeah, you know I mean, we don't care about none of that. All right. So, 
Uh, continue to love one another out there. Uh, kids, stop shooting up fucking schools, you idiots. Please. Yeah. Fuck, go do some push-ups or something. Read a book. Read a motherfucking book. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Anyway, reviews out there, man. Take care. We love y'all, man. Holler at us at JB and Benny Blue on all social media. Subscribe to YouTube for more content, man. Old episodes, new episodes. Uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, like, share, subscribe. We like them five star reviews, man. You know how we do, and we appreciate all the love. All right, mm-hmm. catch me on Tuesdays live streaming, Burning Bridges Podcast, six thirty Pacific Standard Time, ten thirty uh, Eastern Time, and. 7.30 Mountain Standard, okay? Shout out to All About the Birds, you know what I'm saying? AAT Sports Network, all that. Mm-hmm. All that. All right, all that. You want to fuck with us, man? Get at us, man. It's JB and Benny Review at gmail.com. Hate mail, questions, concerns, comments, ideas. We're open for ideas for the show, all right? We're always looking for new segments, things to do. Uh, if you got questions, we will answer those. Uh, and then so on and so forth going forward, man, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget about our merchandise, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying? We got the JB and Benny Review. Dot com, you know what I'm saying? Use codes Kyler or Bird Gang to get 15% off Super Kyler Murray and Bird Gang all their apparel. You know what I mean? JB and Ben Review.com. Fuck with us. All right. Don't believe no, never don't ever wonder. We got Suns gear coming. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, We're doing our yeah, thing. Oh, yeah. Suns. We got to have that happen. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. the Valley Hot, and that's me saying that the Valley Hot. All right. That's mine. Hashtag the Valley Hot. That's JB all day. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what it's going to be. Write it down, Benny. All right. You hear that chair car? Hashtag the Valley Hot. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no pot. Coming soon. Coming soon, man. We'll get that cooking. Reviewers, we love you. Last month of the year, make it count. Love your families, love your friends, and enjoy some goddamn foosball, NBA, and everything in between. Until next week, this has been the JB and Bandler Review live stream, and we are out this bitch. Yeah. Yeah.